breaking news. Renu Omokri, in an interview with AIT, exposed Buhari and Yeti Allah's plan against Nigeria. The former aide to Gulog Jonathan, Renu Omokri, has revealed to AIT during an interview that President Muhammad Buhari was Miti Allah's supreme leader before 2015. That is why he cannot go against them. Hmm, this is outrageous and so surprising. You can imagine. In recent times, the activities of Miti Allah Association made a made of cattle headers have come under serious scrutiny as they seem to be in support of alleged etmen violence. However, even though the Miti Allah through their leaders have reportedly made several inflammatory statements, the government has not even done anything to caution them. This has caused many persons to believe that the government of President Modibari is being complacent when it comes to disciplining the Miti Hala. One of the notable persons who is championing this view is the former aide to Goodluck Jonathan, an acclaimed activist and evangelist known as Reno Mokri. In an interview which he had with African Independent Television AIT, Reno Mokri said that President Modibari had been, been the supreme leader of Miti Hala before 2015. He's right about it. He didn't lie about it. It was an interview, in an interview that he said this, told AIT channels. He said Buhari was Miti Allah's supreme leader before he was elected in 2015, that he cannot move against them. That was what he said. That was what Reno Mokri told AIT channels. That he can't move against Miti Allah because he, used, he was their leader then in 2015 so you can see so according to him this is why the president has been reluctantly or has been reluctant to put a stop to the group and their constant inflammatory system Renu Mokri told AIT that Buhari had led a, 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 a a delegation of Miti Hala to the then governor of Oyo State in 2000 to confront him and told him that your people are killing my people. For Reno Mokri, the fact that President Modibari had called the Miti Hala my people then is an indication that he will not even want to go against his people no matter what happens. So let's see reactions of some Nigerian citizens and they replied the gave to Reno Mokri after he has after the statement he made concerning um, Buhari being the leader or being the leader of yes of Miti Hala whatever in 2015. Adamu said that he replied Reno Mokri said citizens you ate in he's still in charge you dislike him, he's still your leader. Eighteen Buhari cannot solve Nigerian problems believing and praying for Nigeria without instigating any world of violence is what would at least bring relief in our insecurities. Another person also replied to Reno Mokri and said, With all those prayers and no words of violence, Nautenan started Boko Haram terrorism, Fulani X-Men, ISWAP, Banditry, the number one citizen spoke man is comfortably saying these shit and not a federal offense. Adamu, people need to express their fears and no confidence. That, this is what one of the Nigerian citizens said. That his name is Chichi. Chichi. Another person also replied on a more clear statement. He said, you are going to get AIT suspended for fine or fine with unproven claims and allegations. They will call it treason. This administration claims at every chance 
of finding a scapegoat. Another person also replied and said, exactly. He was their patron and have been having a conversation with one of my GS. President Modibari can never change Mitihala. <laughs> Do you know that they have kidnapped the chairman of Mitihala in Kogi? Mitihala are cattle breeders and not kidnappers or bad people. You are going to going to get AIT suspended or fined with unproven claims allegations. Exactly my point. He was a patriot. Do you know that they are kidnappers and chairman of Niti Hala? This was what the response of some Nigerian citizens over the statement when Omar Prince has just made. I guess he is still their supreme head. It is still because even if it's not, if not that is not, or if it's not the if he's not, or if he is not a leader or supreme leader, then he won't be sitting down quietly, not saying anything about this issue of insecurity in this country, or not saying anything about Mieti Hala or Etsman. He's still their supreme leader. That is why they have been killing freely across Nigeria and with utmost impunity. And anyone that resists, their oppression, uh, oppression will be arrested and locked up. That's what they do now. So Buhari, even Boko Haram name, name him as their spokesman. No wonder terrorism has overtaken Nigeria. So it is true that they are still loyal to him and he is still loyal to them. That is it. They are loyal to him and he's still loyal to them. So that is it. So uh, Renu Mokri is not wrong with what he said. He's a strong supporter of Boko Haram terrorists. So he's not wrong. He has said it and that is it. He has said it. And no, Renu Mokri doesn't just say. He's not saying, not criticizing Buhari because he, 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 he chased out his own uh, uh, his own uh, president then. No. He's saying this because it's reality. Namikan is not kind of any position in politics. No, he's not kind of a vice president or a deputy to anybody in politics. No, but it Namikan is still saying the truth, saying talking about Buhari, even uh, or more yearly to saying the same thing and Femi Fani Kayede. So, you know, Mokri is not lying, I said it, and that is one now. That means he, he's not because you know, Mokri is the head to Gulag Jonathan. Then, no. He's saying this because he's saying this as a carnal person, as a Nigerian citizen, that enough is enough. Let's call it spade is spade. The truth must be, must be told. So viewers, your take concerning this news will be much appreciated. Thank you.